that he asked me that question perplexed me because I'm wondering why would any man live and carry himself in a way in which he would not want his own daughter to date a man that lives and carry himself in that way? What man would do that? What man would live in a way that he's ashamed of? What man would live in a way that he views himself as being subpar? Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. I usually don't do this here. I, I, I guess this is just... This is just the direction I'm gonna end up going into, bro. Man, they got me too. Okay, let's talk about what Crimson Kia posted on the video. She said that black women are still playing dumb about submission. And she plays this video clip of this brother calling himself dropping some knowledge, dropping science on this woman about submission. And in that little rant that he gives, he mentions about, say like a man drops you off after a date, he watches you all the way to the door to make sure you're okay. You know, that's masculinity. And you know, that's just something that's in his nature. He brings that to the table from the very beginning. And so you should be submissive from the very... No. Yes, you should be submissive to that man once he proves himself. Exactly. But it should be in your attitude to have a DNA. submissive attitude, just like it's in the man's attitude to have a protective right. spirit about him. If a man, hold on, if a, if a man from the very beginning did not have a protective attitude and he drop you off at home and he pull off soon as you get out the car and don't watch you go into that house, he probably not gonna get another date, right? Because he don't have a, a protective attitude. attitude. Even though, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me finish. Even though he's not your man, even though he's not your man. So the submissive attitude I'm comes sorry, into play. You just say to me. Hold on. <laughs> the submissive attitude comes into play in the beginning also. Not in a serious decision making, but I might want to go see this movie. I might want to go to this restaurant instead of, and, and you just like, hey, I just want to spend time with you. I'll so find something. So when do y'all submit? You know, I have a grown dog. You know, I don't think a lot of y'all understand this here. And let me tell you my mindset first. A dude once, once asked me, oh man, this is a video in itself. Oh, real talk, real talk. This is a video in itself. A dude once asked me, when I had my polygynous family, he knew I had a daughter. He said, would you want your daughter to grow up and date a man like you? I was like, hell yeah. Say, I hope she's lucky enough to meet a man like me. Do you know why I responded that way? First of all, let me say this here. The fact that he asked me that question perplexed me because I'm wondering why would any man live and carry himself in a way in which he would not want his own daughter to date a man that lives and carry himself in that way? What man would do that? What man would live in a way that he's ashamed of? What man would live in a way that he views himself as being subpar? See, this is insanity abound. I didn't understand that. But me, I'm the opposite. I actually understand why I move the way I move. And I'm proud of the person that I am. I am happy with the man that I grew up to be. And I wish my daughter was to meet a man like me. Now that said, I don't want my daughter submitting to none of you old powder puff dudes that's playing with the role of a man. You can sit there and talk tough all you want about watching a woman walk through the door, I got your back, I got your back, anything happen. You don't know that woman and you know damn well you are only willing to go so far behind a stranger. You are not going to protect that woman to your, to your last breath like you would your wife. You're not going to protect that woman to the end, to the electric chair, like you would for your daughter, like you would for your mom, like you would for your sister. I'm talking biological sister here. You know, you're going to fight for those women till the very last breath. 
You are not going to do that with no strange woman that you just met that you took on a date. So why even mention that? You are wrong. You don't bring that to the table automatically. That is something that is given over time because you feel that the person that you are giving it to has earned it. Likewise, a woman should not submit to none of you fake ass dudes until y'all earn it. Y'all need to deserve that. She need to look at you and see a man that's worthy of that. If you are not worthy of it, she should not give it to you, period. She don't owe you submission. You are not her daddy. You are not her brother. You are not her protector. She don't owe you submission at sight just because you a man. She don't owe you nothing no more than you owe her nothing. Your dudes got all this stuff twisting. I'm tired of y'all playing with the role of a man. Because as I said in the previous video, that role is not a joke. When your duty call, your life is about to change. You can sit there and talk that bad talk. But when the day comes, when you gotta put yourself out there to defend a woman under your charge, your life is about to change. You are possibly about to commit a 187. You are possibly about to go to prison for the rest of your life. Or you are possibly about to be deleted in the process. This is not a game that y'all playing with. And you can't tell no woman, see, I'm watching your back while you walk to the door. Okay, but suppose a dude pops out the woodwork and starts smacking her around. What are you really willing to do? You don't know this chick. What are you really going to do? I'm a bad dude, bro. I'm, I'm about it, about it, about it, about it. Lord Nine Wall, CTC, Cutthroat City. Old school. I've been in real shootouts. I ain't talking about hide behind stuff like a coward. I'm talking about I'm out in the middle of the street banging. They banging. We banging. Last man stand type, type, type stuff. I done been in blade fights. I done been in all type of weapon chains, brass knuckles, you name it. I'm about it. But I don't know how far I'm about to put myself out there for no stranger. This is serious. Your life is going to change. You, I mean, most I can do is call 911. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. I can call 911 for you, but I'm not about to put myself out there, man, because I know how serious beef is that this is going to change, that this is going to turn bad. And I'm not saying, you know, look, I'm not knocking no dude that would jump out there and try to save the sister and try to help. You know, I'm not knocking you. In fact, if that's what's in your heart, go on and do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, fo follow what's inside of you. Because that's what my, I'm talking at, but my first instinct would be to go jump in too. I, but, I'm a, but if I think about it consciously, I will pull myself back and, 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 and I, 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 I'm a civilian now. I'm gonna just call 911. You know what I'm saying? I'm no longer a street dude. You know, I don't, I don't live by those rules no more. I can call the police now. I can, call, I can call civil authority now. You know what I'm saying? In those days, I couldn't do that. Now, I can get on my phone and call the police. But the point I'm making is, man, we need to stop faking the funk. You are not going to put yourself out there to your last breath behind a stranger. And you do that, you may not even live to regret it. I remember years ago, and I'm, I want y'all to hear this, this video. I want y'all to listen to this. This real talk. Years ago, probably circa 2001, 2002, black when, back when Black Planet had the real forums when they really, you know, black people really was on there talking to each other and, and getting into live debates. I remember this topic actually came out. I mentioned this before in the video, but I'm gonna keep mentioning over and over and when it come up a topic. The topic came out about a dude needed to like, I think somebody like did something to a dude's daughter. You know, and, and some dudes in there like, man, I'll be in prison right now. You know what I'm saying? Which is my sentiment exactly. And the other dudes, here's the vast majority. Now, the dudes said that they'll be in prison right now was less than 1%, I tell you no lie. And you had like 3,000 people debating. I mean, the forum was lit. If the, the comments was coming in so fast, it was hard to keep up was arguing with people, you know what I'm saying? It was that bad. So the majority of the men in there were saying, 
No man, you know, you got other kids. You can't go to prison, you know, you still gotta be out there for the other children, you know. A father needs to be around. And our argument, the minority, our argument is that the father also has a role. He has a duty and an obligation. And by messing with that man's daughter, they just rung that bell. You got to answer. You have to answer as a man. And your life is about to change. Once you answer that bell, what you have to answer. If you're a real man, you going to answer that bell. And once you answer that bell, your life as you know it is over. That is the sacrifice a man is expected to make. And this why any woman around me go bow to me. She's gonna treat me like I'm her God because my, my sacrifice is the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah, we both hope I never had to answer that bell. But I can guarantee you right now, right now, as sure as I'm in front of this camera, let somebody smack mine. I'm in a beam. Oh, hit mine. And see more I come at you with everything I got. I don't give a damn if you standing in the police station, surrounded by police. I'm coming to get you because you ain't about to disrespect my role as a man and think you about to walk around peaceful like it's all good. It's not going to happen. So when you do say this stuff, when y'all use examples like this to try to get women to bow to you and submit to you, you are disrespecting real manhood. Dude, sit your bust ass down somewhere, bruh. Oh, fake dudes, man. Yeah, and I wish a dude like that would be talking about, man, I, would, I, would, wait, I, I wish I would see that old, old circle somewhere. I, I, you ain't gonna do me nothing. You lift your hand up, you drawing back a nub. I'm about it, bro. You ain't about to play with me. You ain't because I'm a real man. You ain't about to play with me. You ain't about to play with mine. But I ain't about to be jumping out there trying to save every damn, every damn damsel in distress either. You know what I'm saying? That ain't my job. You know what I'm saying? That ain't my job. That ain't my job. You know what I'm saying? My job is here. I'm about to deal with me and mine I, out there. I ain't, I ain't about to be doing that because I know how far this going to go. But if you think you're going to ever walk up to me and disrespect me or mine or insult mine, don't do it, bro. For my sake and your sake, don't do it. Because both our lives about to change. Don't do it. If you love your life the way it is, don't mess with me and don't mess with my queen. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I can tell you as sure as I'm looking to this camera. Ask anybody that know me. I earned these bullet holes, bro. Down here, knife wounds, every penitentiary tap. I earned every stripe I got, every ball on my shoulder, every star. I earned it. You are not about to play with the role of a man in my world. And what y'all doing is insulting. You dudes are fake. Stop using those examples to try to get women to be your slave. Learn how to be a man. She gonna bow to you if you a man. She gonna come at you right if you a man. Stop trying to use this stuff, man. Y'all fake. Y'all phony. Y'all cowards. Bunch of weak ass niggas. Man, I'm tired of y'all with that madness, bro. Stop, stop, stop playing with the role of a man. If you was a real man, you wouldn't even use example like that. Ass nigga. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out of here. Salam. Took me all off my square.